Hello guys, welcome to Frank's Flavorful Foods. Today we're making gin and beetroot marinated salmon. First off, get yourself a nice piece of quality salmon and check it for any bones. Then we're going to trim off the fatty sides as well as the tail piece to make it fit in our container. We are going to cover this with plastic foil and store in our fridge. After that we're going to peel three large beetroots and grate them over a bowl. Then we'll add the zest of two oranges and two lemons and roughly chop up 20 grams of dill. Now we'll crush 20 juniper berries and 20 coriander seeds and add this as well. Now to finish our marinade, we'll add 400 grams of coarse salt, 400 grams of cane sugar and 50 ml of quality gin. Then give your marinade a nice little mix up and use it to cover up your salmon. Once done, we cover it with plastic foil, put a weight on top and put it back in our fridge. We'll leave this for two days to marinate. In the meantime, we'll juice five Granny Smith apples, transfer the juice to a pan slowly heat this up and the impurities will rise so it's easy to scoop off and get rid of. Pour 450 grams of clear apple juice into a clean pan and sieve in 300 ml of apple puree. Season this with the juice of half a lemon and 25 ml of apple vinegar. Add 8 grams of agar powder and bring to a boil. After that let it set in your fridge. Once set, remove from your fridge, cut in cubes and add to a blender. When you have a nice smooth consistency, push through a sieve with a ladle and store in a piping bag. We're going to marinate some radishes in a solution of water, vinegar and a bit of sugar. Once that is done, set aside for later use. For the dill oil, add 400 ml of neutral oil, 80 grams of dill and 40 grams of parsley to a blender. Pour this through a sieve and store for later. it's time to check on our salmon which has been marinating for two days. We're taking off the extra beetroot and then we'll rinse it under cold water. Once your salmon is clean, Put it on some paper towels and pat it dry. Now thinly slice off a little piece of salmon just for you to try. You could also serve this on a sandwich with some cream cheese, rocket and some red onions. But that's not what we're gonna do. I 
I serve it with the pickled radishes, a sauce from dill oil and buttermilk, the Granny Smith gel and some fresh dill leaves. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like and hit the subscribe button.